Hey, Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rise, and welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tarot. Today, we're delving into what do you need to hear right now? Some of you all may need to ground yourself. If you've been feeling like this up in the air, like you've been interrupted with things that you're trying to get done, smash that like button if that's you, okay? This can play out past, present, or future. Take it how it resonates if it resonates for you, all right? It is a timeless reading. So when you're seeing this, that's when it's meant for you. You can check out my playlist. I have a plethora of additional collective reads there. Um, personals are available. That link is down below in the description box. And as always, thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings. It is all greatly appreciated. So I see you're coming in as a masculine energy, King of Wands. You are very passionate in your life right now about something that it is that you want. It's like you're taking the reins of your life currently okay hmm. you're looking good very attractive three of swords your heart is broken though it's like you're getting these options but nothing seems to be good enough here with the knight of cups you have something like somebody is on your mind that you want to rekindle something with it's like you want to make something up with this person you may feel as though you broke their heart and by breaking theirs you broke yours smash that like button if that's you yeah, with the star card, I'm seeing that you're realizing that this person is really wish fulfillment for you. They really check like every box for you. This is like wish fulfillment. Like, okay, when I'm saying that, I mean, and like somebody that's like, you know, if I had a type, I'm hearing you say right now, smash that like button. If I don't got no type, you do got a type. Okay. Your type is X, Y, and Z. Think about that. Okay. It's like when you're going back over this person's energy all right the one that's in your energy it's like the main person so you definitely know who um why am i hearing like yes you know what the fuck i'm talking about off how high yeah some of y'all be getting high as hell smash that like button if that's you i'm not judging though but that's that's what i'm seeing you know that may not be for everyone and i mean by like smoking weed okay cannabis all right if that's not you just let it fly okay it may not be for everyone. You may be into vape pens or e cig something like that. So smash that like button if that's you. Yeah, Page of Swords. I see you kind of watching somebody from afar now. It's like you didn't want this person at first. You may have not known if this was the person for you, okay? It's some type of indecision here where maybe you didn't, maybe they did something that kind of looked like a red flag to you or something i'm seeing that one moment in time you back up off this person but it's like you had it's like a, a misunderstanding here because as you go back and start to review all the evidence that you have it was a misunderstanding here we have the four of wands. You really want to be in a connection with this person. That's what I'm seeing. Four of cups. You may be feeling like you're missing out on an opportunity now that it has passed you by. With the empress, you may want to impregnate this person. Or they may want to have children with you. With the will of fortune, I see things turning around here. Ten of swords, where it looks like this situation is dead, over, and done with. I see things turning around here. Yeah, with a temperance card. That's confirmation, saying that things will balance out. Could be dealing with a fire sign. That's Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Okay, I'm seeing that heavy here. Also could be a water or air sign, or they could have that somewhere in their chart. Let's go ahead and clarify. This is what does Gemini need to hear right now? Ace of Swords, Spirit is saying that this is the truth. Okay, you're facing clarity and truth right now about your feelings towards someone. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. It's coming after a moment of steadily working with heartbreak. I feel as though, I mean, it hasn't really showed up on a board yet, but the energy that I'm getting, because I am an in intuitive reader as well, the energy that I'm channeling, shall I say, is that you're trying to go out, you're trying to date other people, smash that like button if this is you, and it's just something fucking missing. And when you think back to it, the last time when you actually felt something was when you were hitting it off with this person that you left behind. Page of Swords, I see you constantly going back, restudying a situation. And it's this situation. And you're wondering, can I even come back? Okay, I'm hearing severed ties. So you may feel like there is a point of no returning here. This, You may feel like this person 
feels like they didn't get the real thing. Okay? You could have been wondering, was this the real thing? Was this person just too good to be true? You know, sometimes I'm hearing that you feel like people, like they say that to you, like you're too good to be true. And then you did this to someone else. Like you feel like they're too good to be true. Look, you have unfinished business with this person with the world in reverse. It's letting me know that when you're looking at this person, when you're studying this situation, I'm hearing it's not over. Yeah, 10 of cups and five of cups, shit. You really feeling like you could have had it all. Super Gremlin, Kodak Black, like you could have had it all with this person. Four Swords, you're just kind of resting and recouping right now, licking your wounds until you come charging back in to work with this person again. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, though. You could be trying to cover up errors. Look, I'm going to tell you because we. this is what we need to hear, right? What you need to hear right now, Gemini. Don't be coming in trying to sugarcoat those mistakes that you made. Okay, because if you're dealing with a fire sign, I'm going to let you know right now, especially a Leo, they're going to be very upfront with you and they're going to demand like that respect or that honesty. They may not even let you know that they know that you're telling half truths. They just going to fall back. Let me get one more. Yeah, the temperance card, because I'm getting that you want to fix things with this person. Three of Swords, you did break their heart. I can't even stunt. That's what I see. And there's a judgment here. Be part of the deck. This person may feel like you're toxic. You could be obsessing over the situation, having your guard up, or about when you had your guard up. One more, the lovers. So this person may have their guard up right now as you're coming towards them because they may look at you as toxic. I got to say what I see. Okay, this person probably was all in the first time, Gemini, and now they're setting boundaries. Okay, my best advice would be to come in correct, you know, let them know, be honest. Okay, if this is something that you really want, go all in. Okay, ho hos, you could have been out here doing you, that's what I see, but now you're facing clarity. Uh, coming in fast ish, okay, it's coming in fast that you're not feeling satisfied. Okay, there is a long journey ahead, a long journey ahead, putting in work, trying to win your boo back right here we have journal keep it secret keep it safe keep this shit to yourself don't be telling everybody what you got going on okay the playlist was trash anyway people are gonna the people around you may hate on this connection they may want to deal with this person okay something can't be undone what can't be undone is your feelings for this person that's why it's like, don't go around telling everybody because they may not understand your feelings. They may not understand where you're coming from, this connection. What, shit, what if you're dealing with a soulmate? Not everybody know, you know, the feelings that pull you to this person. Even if it's a twin flame, look into that if that's for you. You know, especially seeing that four wands energy here. It could be a twin flame you're feeling drawn to, okay? Do a little research on that if you are unfamiliar with twin flames. But yeah, happy home. This person may very well be a twin flame of yours, okay? You you kind of pushed them away at first, but now you're realizing you're madly in love with them, you know, and that they tick every box for you. And now you're coming back in because this person feels like home. You're such a cute girl, XOXO. You're highly attracted to this person. This person is attractive, okay? Very beautiful, very handsome, okay? But it says make the first move because it's only you, Gemini, okay, if you want this. Why? Because the future is looking bright. Keep positive. You keep positive, you're going to get what it is that you're setting out to get. But I order steak, though. Hmm. Let them keep sleeping on you. So look, this is why this person has their guard up towards you. They feel like, you know, this person is coming in as the empress. This is somebody that embodies all the queens out of the tarot deck. Okay, this is somebody that has mastered a lot of lessons within this feminine energy. This person brings abundance within their life because they give off the energy of abundance, you know, likes to track within the universe. And it's like this person is in the energy where, where they're like, okay, shit, they don't want to recognize my worth. Well, let them keep sleeping on me then. Because I order steak, though. This ain't what the fuck I even ordered. If this person can't give me what I need, I'm sorry I'm getting a little cutthroat. But this person may be a little upset with you, okay? 
I have to say the way that I feel it and the way I'm channeling this energy for your reading. And this is what you need to hear right now. Ding dong. You can expect to see this person. Some type of surprise visit. I don't know if you're popping up on this person because it says take the risk or lose the chance. So you may decide to just up and pop up on this person. You may decide to just like, look, uh, let's do a pop up date. You may just reach out to this person like, can I take you out? I'm hearing... Can I take you out to dinner? Hmm. Ice them out. Yeah, this person is trying to ice you out. Hello, nurse, but you're so fucking... Att Look, smash that like button if you're attracted to this person, okay? It was like the first thing that really got you was that you were attracted to this person right through the door. And it was just like, I gotta have them. And then maybe it was some things that popped up where you're like, this person is just too good to be true. Smash that like button if that's you. And you may have self-sabotaged. Your advice is to be patient. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Okay, what else? Well, other advice for Gemini? Here we have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So in divine timing, you're going to have another chance to rekindle with this person. And that second time around, you're going to very value this person. You're going to appreciate them. Okay. And I feel like shit, everything happens for a reason. Here we have worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. We have fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. You're coming out of fear, doubt, worry. You're having more patience. It's like, shit, I can't do anything else about it. What's for me will be for me. You know, that brings us to honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect the truth from myself. Remember when I was telling you, don't be going out telling everybody your business and asking for advice and doing this, that, and the next, putting people in your situation because they may not understand. But you do. You know what you feel. You know how to be honest with yourself. And you know that when an opportunity comes back around, you're going to nip that shit in the bud because this is your person. This is your wish fulfillment. Bottom deck is I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. You're outgrowing things that no longer serve you right now, Gemini. And you're moving towards things that do serve you. Okay, that's why this person at one moment in time seems unattainable. But as you grow spiritually, this person comes closer and closer with you. Freedom, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness because you do. Right now, you're in the masculine energy, okay? This is that yang energy where you're performing actions in your everyday life to get you closer to the things you want to manifest into your reality, okay? Lastly, we have perseverance, all right? I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to because you can, Gemini. If you want this, go get it. If your reading resonated with you, then smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.